Hello and a very warm welcome to Maths Plus channel. Here we're covering factoring. So the first two terms here, we need to factor out the highest common factor. So let's set up the brackets. And we will have 45 and 27. Well, we can take out nine to be the highest number which will divide into both of those terms and also if we look at the r s and the r squared we can take out r so this leaves us with 9 by 5 which will give us 45 r into rs will give us s and for the second term we will get 9 r into 27 r squared Will, which will give us a complement of 3 R. Okay, have a quick double check when you get to this stage. So 9 R by 5 S will give you 45 R S. Perfect. And 9 R by 3 R will give you 27 R squared. On to the next one. So we're grouping four terms together into two factors now okay so let's look at the first two terms here see is there any commonality well we have x there which is good and over here we have y so let's go ahead and start so we can take out of x and then we will get 2a and minus b so the minus will go in the brackets here minus b Okay, again, the second one is straightforward. Just take out y, it's a common element, and we will have 2a minus b. So this is ideal, as we have the identical bracket in both sides. So the last step is to group everything together, so the x and the y can be put in it into its own bracket and then we have a common bracket of 2a minus b this process is called grouping okay so let's practice one more just to get it right okay so if we look at the four terms here we do not have a common number or letter in the first two so we have to rearrange just to make it more easily manageable. Okay, so we're going to go with the 8x squared. And let's look what would suit the 8x squared. Would it be the 12 or the 2? Okay, let's see. So the 2 is even. Okay, but um, the 12 may not be perfect because maybe the 12 will go with the 3 because it will have a common fact, a number of three. Okay, so we'll go with the minus two px, because it's even and it has an x. So all that remains then will be the 12 px, and move the minus three p squared over to the right. Okay. So now we can go to factorize out the highest common factor. Okay, so we can see there it's going to be 4. 4 will be in the brackets. And 2 will be outside. So 4 goes there and 2 goes there. And then we can go x and x. And over here, minus. So 2x into minus 2px will give you minus p. Okay, again, we'll expect 4x minus p to be in the bracket. So let's see what we can take out over here. So we're going to go with, we can take out 3. Okay, and that's all we can take out. Well, actually, you can take out p as well, so take out p. So we're left with 4x. This looks good. And then we have minus 3p squared divided by 3p 
which will give us minus p. Okay, matching brackets. Now group everything together so the 2x and the 3p will have their own bracket. 2x plus 3p. And secondly, then we have 4x minus p. Thank you for watching Maths Plus.